Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guys, please remember as always, if you are new to my channel, please, please, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And for this video, I'm gonna do a quick review on my compass. This is the Sunto M3 compass. So it's actually very neat. It's one of my favorite compasses to use. Actually, it is my favorite compass to use. I like it so much, I have three of them. All I did was a couple little things to them. It came with a little key for the back right here to adjust declination, I got rid of it. So I just have 550 cord, gave it a lot of cord. So I can hang it around my neck, maybe tuck it into my pocket. Anyways, let's get going. I, don't, I wanna show you guys some cool features about this compass. Starting off, this is clear plastic, all right? You have on the compass, two rubber nipples. So you might wanna be asking yourself, what are the rubber nipples? Well, it's simple. Turn the compass around to the back. This right here is one rubber nipple. Here's another one. Reason being is when you put it on a map, it makes it easier to grip on. So if you're taking a measurement and you go like this, because you want to measure from here to here, it's gripped onto your map. You don't have to worry about it sliding off. Because being a little bit off a degree or two, if you're going a long distance, it might set you off a couple of miles, maybe up to three and a half miles, depending how far you want to go. Aside with that, guys, you have an orienting arrow, which is right over here. This is always gonna be the direction you're gonna use to go. Okay, this coincides with this. We're gonna touch on this in a minute. This compass also has three measuring rulers. So here is one, here is another one, here is another one. Now, aside from that, this compass also gives you four scales. What are the scales? Well, you have one scale right here. You have another scale on the top. You have another scale right here. You have another scale right on the top. So I'm not gonna beat up on the scales right now for the purpose of this video. Just wanna give you a quick overview. I will talk about the scales on the next video. Aside from that, you have a magnifying lens, which is right here. So it's been said, you can start fires with it. Have I ever done it? No, but I probably will just to show you guys you can. I do have a strong feeling that if you wanna start a fire with the magnifying lens, you're gonna be sitting around there for quite some time. Anyways, you have the degree bezel or the ring or the turret. So that is this right here. That is your north, your south, east, west. All of these right here are the degrees and you manually turn this. So one really cool thing I actually like about this compass is that not only is it designed in a very nice way that looks very attractive and I actually do enjoy using it, but you can actually use this compass to see at night. So we're gonna take my trusty spotlight and I actually like using this light whenever I go hunting pythons. I'm not gonna be hunting pythons right now because we are in the season and there's too many hunters out there and it's gonna ruin the hunt. So I wanna show you guys something. This compass actually does glow in the dark, which is neat. Take the light, right? Look how cool is that? Making it easier for you to land nav. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what's inside the turret. Inside the turret, you have your ring, your, I'm sorry, your, your needles. The red needle is always gonna be pointing to your north or your true north. So obviously where I'm standing at right now, my north is gonna be in that direction. So there's my south. On top of that, guys, you have this little red house, which is called the dog house. I will show you how to work these in the next video. You have these red lines. These are your latitude and longitude lines. Again, I will show you how these come to play with the compass in the next video. And in the bottom, you have all of these little numbers, which are degrees. You have them on the west and you have them on the east. So guess what? These are actually used to adjust for declination. So what is declination? Well, your compass needle is always gonna be pointing in your north or your true north. If you are doing line nav, very basic, and I mean the basic of the basic, you're in a small little park and you wanna go north, south, east to west, you do not need it. However, if you are gonna be orienting or hiking, or hunting, or tracking, 
then yes, you do need to know what declination is. I'm gonna beat up on declination on the next video because I'm gonna actually use one of the Everglades maps and show you what I am gonna be doing. And I'm gonna show you how this compass actually gets used and it's very easy. Some people learn this stuff very easily and some other people, it just takes a little while, but once you learn how to use this, there's no way to get lost. Anyways, guys, just wanted to do a quick video on this compass. I'm gonna go ahead and end it because I wanna show you guys what I am gonna be doing with it and how to actually use this compass on my next video. Guys, I hope you all have a wonderful time. Please remember to keep yourself safe out there and make sure you guys carry daily.